Okay, it's Cam again for Digimedia Tutorials. We're looking at Digital Painting in Photoshop, the basics. In this, we're covering in this particular video, we're looking at the brush settings. Now, to begin with, we'll just uh, look at the default round brush and just experiment with a bit of that and how we can get some really cool variation with the the one basic brush. I'm working in CS5 you'll find the same menu in previous versions this will be called Other Dynamics. To actually open this up go to Window Brush Window, window Brush and that'll pop up so yeah, now we've got it open. Look at brush tip shape. We got a whole bunch of different shapes here. I've got heaps because I got a lot of custom brushes. So you can choose different ones for for the purposes of this video. Just go with the round brush and change the size. You can see everything that I'm doing is affecting this. So this is a good little preview window of what's happening. Change the size. Da -da -da. Change the hardness. Hardness is going to affect, you know, how soft the edges are or how crisp the edges are. Spacing is going to affect, since since it is just um, one mark kind of stuck together. You can see how the spacing affects that. The lower you go, the um, slower the brush tends to be. So sometimes nice to leave it just a little bit higher, just for the sake of lag. And these ones flip it up or down, left or right. I tend to not use them, depending. Size jitter, it's really nice. If you see this. It's actually how how hard I'm pressing is affecting the size, and you can set that to pen pressure, which is how I have it set. You can also make it random with the jitter. You can change the angle, so it's just going all blobby. Looks cool there. You can change it based on the pen pressure, pen tilt. Pen tilt is how I tilt the pen, which is really cool. That's on the Interwurst 3 and 4 pen and the Cintiq. Rotation. Affected by the rotation of the pen. Initial direction affected by the the first direction I make and direction is gonna really go with the way I'm moving the pen which is really cool um, it's it's not so um, apparent on this brush but you'll find if you have a very um, uneven or asymmetric brush it's going to um, be affected a lot by this direction. We can change the pen tilt, minimum roundness, flip it left or right, up or down. Scattering, scattering is crazy. Look at that, it's everywhere. You can make it a bit less crazy. But you can get some really cool effects with that as well. You might want to put stars everywhere or you know, a cool kind of grainy texture all over the place. So I might change the size and then just have it scattering. It's a weird misty thing. Le it might be scattering leaves all over the place. But yeah, you can see how just even with the one round brush, 
how different marks you can make. Now moving on to texture, you can change the texture here and you can load different textures here. You can make your own patterns that's done with the marquee select up there and you select a different part of your image and make your own pattern. Texture each tip is in a as it says other texture each little tip or just place the texture across the board you'll see you'll see more of that as you experiment as with all these settings you'll understand more of what I'm saying now mode is the blending mode of the texture depth of the texture depth jitter control dual brush you can mix two different brushes with each other the different shapes so you can get some really amazing amazing stuff happening definitely explore this because it's um, pretty amazing what you can do and yeah all these settings are um, explanatory by what I've already covered just with scattering and counts and stuff color dynamics this is interesting I didn't really bother with this until later on I saw Jamie Jones uh, check out his stuff I think it's artpad.org it's a really great um, digital artist very painterly quality to his artwork and with his brush set I noticed he had these although very subtly at like 4% and 3% it, it gave a really painterly quality since you'll see a lot of subtle variation which is what you see in master paintings and stuff where two colors mix together and they kind of neutralize so you'll get these little gray areas and um, it's very subtle but it does give your painting a more organic quality transfer also known as other dynamics in previous versions of Photoshop this is pretty important um, all my brushes have this this selected with pen pressure for flow and opacity on pen pressure as well and this will allow me to blend different colors as you can see how hard I'm pressing this I'm getting some kind of more opaque oh sorry more transparent here and more opaque here that's based on how hard I'm pressing on the stylus so if I press really lightly it's going to come out very lightly as well flow if you can think of it as being kind of how much paint is on there and then opacity is how how transparent or light is that paint noise being some noise you might want to have a bit of noise it's not it's not a very apparent effect you can't see it very well wet edges will give you a nice watercolor effect airbrush will affect the flow and the opacity and size a little bit it'll give it'll give it a more kind of natural feel just in regards to pre pressure and pen pressure and things um, experiment with that if if you like it keep it on if you don't turn it off as with all things smoothing is going to smooth out stuff so it'll just um, if you're going really crazy it'll kind of keep everything together a bit more protect texture will protect the texture that wraps up um, that one if you want to save the brush you click up here then press X <laughs> um, and you can say new brush preset and it'll save that and you can call it whatever name crazy brush and you can keep that brush if you want to keep the flow stored I think CS5 stores it for you, but um, 
yeah you can also put in as a tool preset so new tool preset and that'll save the flow for you and it'll put it in this list and yeah you can also change these here so it might be like a color dodge mode you can see that's just crazy now yeah so experiment um, I think I've covered the basics but definitely if you have more questions or just want me to elaborate on something I've said um, let me know hit me up on comments in YouTube Vimeo wherever I'm lurking wherever you find me um, yeah leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can thanks for watching Hope you learned something. Yeah, get painting. Have fun.